Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I've um with one of my new subscribers, Alex, who's just met me, um here he is. Hi. Hi. Oh and his little child, what's your child's name? Uh, Eva. Eva and a little Eva. So um they're a new subscribers to the channel and he's put together a nice kit uh, which he wants to give me a little test. So I'll show you the kit so, so it's all been COVID tested for anyone asked me, 72 hours safe. Yeah, yeah, we're keeping our distance and all that sort of stuff. So we've got a nice kit. This is so what do you say on the front of this one? So it was the, a... the idea with the front one will be as soon as you, you camp, you make a base, that will be some sort of a survival equipment just yep. in case you are not coming back or for whatever yep. reason. And the main compartment, the big one, will be for, um, um, it's not a tent, it's, it's a, a, a shelter tarp, thing, yeah, tarp, yeah. Yep. tarp with a sleeping bag and uh, a belt yep. with a cutting tool. Um, a knife that would be a machete, a knife, and uh, you know those um, like a chainsaw. Yeah, we have wire saws. Yeah. Wire saw. Yeah, and the middle one is just for cooking with a grill and some stuff and yeah. a fire kit. Yeah. So have a look and let me know what what I can do, what I can improve, or what things. They are not very expensive things. Would be from eBay or Wish, apart from the blades, and let me know what your yeah. yeah, so, so we'll do that. So, so while I'll go back, we'll open this thing up and then myself, me, me and my son Jacob, my oldest, we're going to take this out for a couple of days and we're going to put it through its, put it through its paces, um, look at every single bit of kit you've got and find out what I can what I can and can't do with it. Cool. Yeah, and then um, at the end, give me a talk. Yeah, that's that's yeah. what I will, uh, will want to know. Over there itself. So, so yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. So we'll go on. So the next time you see me is unboxing this to see what I've actually got. What goodies have I got to play with for a 48 hour challenge? So we're staging up there. We're going to open 24. We're going to do 48 hours and put this through his paces. So on there. Right. So thanks again. And I'll yeah. see you in a few days time with this kit coming back. Right. See you. Okay then, so I've just come out to the woods now um, with Jacob. So Hi. he's going to come out a little trip with me. We're going to do this 48 hours together. This is the kit what Alex gave me yesterday, so it's the next day. I have not opened it up at all yet, so we're going to experience this ourselves for the first time. I'm going to get my first views, and then I can start thinking about what I'm going to do with this kit for the next 48 hours when we actually go outside. Right, so he told me the very first pouch is like the survival sort of pouch. This is the one I sort of keep with me all the time. And inside here is all the base camp stuff. So let's dive in and see what do I have inside the first pouch. What do you reckon is going to be in here, Jacob? Just packaging. Just packaging. Right, so I can see on the start already, we have a ferro rod of some sort with a whole load of paracord. Oh. Oh, when I can get it out. So what we have here, we have a nice scraper. We've got the magnesium and a and a um and a ferro rod. So this is a two two part striker. Yeah, we've got some sparks coming off. So this is good. So we've also got some ferro we can actually go off that. So we've got that to go with. We've got a little small carabiner. Right. Who's gonna light the fire then? I'm bad. You're there, you bit of practice. Right, inside the pouch. I've got an idea, I think. Oh, you're going well there. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we're going to look inside the pouch now and see what we've got. So, first things we can see. We can see some some power cords, sort of some um, sort of basic line, not power cord, it's more of um. Sort of the web text line it looks like we've got a box of waterproof matches so in a little ziploc bag and we have some matches let's have a quick look yep yeah. okay so we've got two sorts we've got the windproof we've got storm matches and we've got normal match strike matches in there so that's quite nice we've got some windproof stormproof matches and that, so we've got two versions of fire so far. Remember the criteria I like to do my kits to is the 10 C's, so combustion, 
is the first one. So we've got two lots of fire so far. And we've got some cordage for the sea. Right. I can see a cutting tool. We have a nice cutting tool here. This little blade. Oh, this is the Angler Arms one. So I've done a video on this before. So I've actually got the Angler Arms kit. It's actually quite a nice little um, kit to get in there. I'm guessing now, I bet that ferro rod might be from the Angler Arms set as well now. If he's got the sort of, if he's got the knife, he's probably got the um, the full kit what went with there. I've done a video on that. If you want to check it out, look it up there. We've also got inside, we have some isotonic energy drinks. So to keep you going, so we've got a bit of food. I've got another survival whistle. See, it actually says survival whistle. <whistles> yeah, nice little whistle. We've got a little little light sort of on here and inside this. Let's have a look, what do we have? Okay, we've got some Vaseline. So we've got some accelerator, yeah, accelerate on there to so help keep some more tinder going. So we put that down there. Oh, we've got, I've, I've looked at this. This is um, on the Wish website, the little catapult, little mini talk catapult. Um, so. Yeah, laser sight. No, not a laser sight, Jacob. This is a little, this little mini talk one. one. Like so. I wanted to play with this one, I needed to order this, now I can have a little play of it as well. And he's also got some power cord wrapped around the edge of it, so happy there. So we've got a way of hunting. We've got a few zip ties, looks like 10 zip ties. Oh, this thing just goes on and on. We've got a survival, oh, what do we have in here? We've got a bivy bag. So we've got a green emergency bivy bag. Yeah, for one person, but you can split them up if you need to. We've also got a, oh, there we go. You recognise this, Jacob? My fishing kit. Yeah. yeah, we've got the BCV fishing kit. So again, it's being featured on the channel. So if you want to check that video out, what's inside that? Go on, this pouch. We've got ourselves a little Discovery Adventures, sort of a multi-tool with a small little blade, a little bit of sharpen on there. We'll do that little stuff before we go out. Fish hooks, eyes, scissors, corkscrews, screwdrivers, little carabiner. So get on, it's a basic little little blade. We've got an automatic fishing rod reel. So I've been looking at one of these. This is actually quite nice. So the idea of this is you can leave it and then it will, it will hopefully do all this stuff for you. So if we've got some rivers nearby, we'll test that as well. We'll give that a little bit of a test. We've got a, a PTR little survival card. So a few little bits of power cord on there. They do have a little cutting edge, which isn't very good, sort of thing. So th these are okay, they're a bit more of a gimmicky sort of thing, I find, most of the time. We've got a survival, we've got a tin inside here. So this is a Poundland tin, um, and he's stacked it with lots of stuff. So we'll open that up later on. We've got a little compass, little, little, little compass. We've got a big lighter, not yet, a big lighter. I like the idea what he's done here. So we've got a magnet. So we need to do some fishing or, or sort of magnet fishing or stuff like that. We've got that. Plus we've also got some ammunition. So let's have a look. So we've got some ammunition for the catapult. And we've got a spare ferro rod as well. We have a spare. F so inside that little pack, we've got one, two, three, four A's of combustion. A cuddle, cut, a cuddle of cutting elements, some food, some navigation, another cutting element, more food again, shelter or cover, and cordage, and container. So we do have a little container. Let's open it up. Okay, so this is a full survival kit inside here. We've got a couple of razor blades, some puri tabs, some water containers, some some tin foil, some scissors, another knife, some more rubber bands, some air plugs, a nail. There's a whole load, some fishing line, some fishing kit, some, some fake bait. So there is a whole host of stuff inside that little kit as well. So we'll, we'll do another video on that, I think, going forwards. Right, he's just gone off dare hunting at the moment. but. Inside his little pouch here, so we've got, there he comes back, we've got the 10 C's, 
Um, so let's see how many has he actually really got inside there. So the first one is cutting. Uh, uh, let's say combustion or cutting. I always say cutting. So we've got three things for cutting. So the rule of thumb, one is none and two is two is one. Yeah, so one is none and two is one. So but he's got three elements of cutting in there. If you take the one inside the tin, that's four elements of cutting. So we've got cutting, combustion. We've got lots of combustion, all the fire aids over there, cover, we've got that. Con cordage inside there and container. So some sort of mini container for things. So we've got the first five all covered. The second five, we've got Samuel. Shush. So the second five, we've got compass. We've got candling device. Is you've got fire makings over there. But what I didn't say on the side of the bag is a little right angle torch. It needs some batteries inside it, but there is a little right angle torch just on the outside, so I can grab it really quickly. Um, the other ones we don't have though is cloth bandana. We don't have a, um, a, um, a sail needle, a, a, a cloth sail needle. Which there is a nail inside there, so you could potentially use the nail inside that and we don't have the cloth bandana but other than that though we have hit all of the main parts of of this of the 10 c's so well done alex i'm liking this i'm going to enjoy i'm going to see how much we can actually get out of this and use very short i'm intrigued to give this a go right, stop the camera i'm going to put all this actually no just say no i'm going to put all this away and then we'll get back over What I really like about his long Carolo striker sort of on here is you're not gonna you're gonna find it a lot harder to lose it because of the amount of cord you've got on there and you've also got a added little bit of cordage if you're gonna need it at the same time as well so that's a really nice idea. Let's put this carabiner back on. Right so that is all that packed up again. So the next thing what do we have inside the main pack? He says to me the front pouch he puts some food elements inside Oh, let's give the front pouch first then. He said he put some food in there for me, so let's see what goodies he has given me to munch out on my little trip, or what he feels is good munchies to keep inside a little survival pack. So, not too close, don't you? Oh, so the first sort of thing, so again, we've got another type of fire kit. And so we've got some fire brocks, we've got some dried birch bark with some fat wood. Yeah, with some fat wood inside there as well. We've got some jute twine, some cotton wool, some alcohol wipes, two big lighters, some more tin foil, a little mini tea light. We've got a pencil sharpener. Remember, I did a pencil sharpener video before. So that's inside there. We've got some more alcohol wipes. We've got some oh, we've got some fire dragon combustible solid fuel tablets. Yeah, so they're really good. They are. Yeah, we've got another pack of matches. We've got another small knife inside here, and we've got two more ferrisium rods, spare ferrisium rods. This up there, and we've got some more tinder and some more fire dragon blocks. This kit just keeps going, so this is a proper base camp fire kit. So everything you're going to need in a base camp to give yourself good fire. So that is the first pouch of survival one. You leave that alone, really, just in case you need to run away and walk away and walk away from the base camp but this is a lovely base camp fire kit all right so we've got a lovely combustion kit so for food again we've got it there we've got for food we have some instant curry super noodles oh. yeah we have a tin of pines big soup chicken and vegetable Woohoo! i love that one we have a packet of baby wipes keep your hands clean and fresh we have some instant coffee sachets Nesquif instant coffees so this is three in one so it's got sugar milk and coffee inside there so we've got four we've got four of those we've got a pair we've got a little mini fire bellow so again a nice little fire bellow to keep the fire going we've got a little mini double decker yeah so that's really good sort of over there a bit of food. We've got a tin of sardines. So we've got some nice sardines, so we can make a nice little meal. 
going on here. He loves fish. Right, we've also got a little flask. So this is probably holds about 500 mils of water. Is it single skin or double? It's a... Uh, not sure. I think it might be a double skin. So, so I'm not going to put that one on the fire. It seems to be double skin. But we do have a metal cup, a little nesting cup in there as well. We've got a little fire grill. Yeah, so I can put on the fire and we can cook something over there, put my nesting cup on or something, or put the fish or, or anything I hunt and catch with a catapult. We've got a, oh, I recognise this from the Wish catalogue. Um, I do believe this is a little nesting kit of stuff. Yeah, so we've got a little pot. Oh, the stuff just keeps going more and more. So we've got a little pot. We've got, this reminds me of the British Army rat packs. So we've got the cereal bars. We've got some more Go Energy isotonic drinks. We've got a little wooden spatula. We've got a nice sharpener. So we can keep the knives trimmed. We've got some some Mac Calf white, white sugar. So we've done some stuff from McDonald's. We've got some McDonald's peppers. We've got some more isotonic drink, Go Energy drinks. We've got a black plastic bag. You can never go too many things with black plastic bag. I recommend really heavy duty ones if you get them because you can use them for multiple things. You can grange covers. You can use them for covers, tarps, sit things, even waterproofs. We've got some more water prairie tabs. We've got a little bit of wire for snaring or maybe for pot hanger. We've got some more sugar from McDonald's, a little bit of tin foil and some salt and pepper. And we've got a little cup. We've got all that in there. And final this thing inside that little kit, we have a little mini pot holder of knife. Ah, a little folding knife, a little folding spoon and a little folding fork. So. KFS knife fork spoon so all that was inside there and final things inside we've got a couple of scouring pads to clean the pans and a couple of double-a batteries which I'm guessing are going to go with this torch so all of that was inside the food pouch so we've got a nice sort of stuff so if you're going to go for a bug out bag you've got enough food to keep you going for 24 hours and then you've got your equipment and your hunting stuff to sustain you for another 48 or even more sort of long term. So let's repack this. Okay, so we've got all that packed in there. A couple of things I would suggest, Alex. Um, your brew kit, I recommend probably putting the brew kit into a waterproof little box if you are going to put it inside your, your, your mugs because it is wet and damp when you put it in there. And also, every time you've got to use the mug, you've got to keep taking all your brew kit and the condiments out. So maybe a small tub or something so you can put the condiments in and out of the box would be a nice little addition into that pouch. Okay, Jacob's gone off a little bit. I did record this section already, so I just noticed I forgot to press the sound on the video. So the back section is his sleeping compartments and sort of stuff over there. So we're going to go through this and see what I actually got. All right, let's open it up. So the first thing is I pull out is his, his cutting elements. So this is his uh, sort of a, he told me about his, his uh, cutting knife. We have a, a nice little machete, which is also his, his axe sort of on here. So this is from Haku BW. Um, it is a bit of blunt at the moment, it does need to be sharpened, so I'll give that a sharpen for you uh, before it all comes back. On side in the kit as well, we've also got a little, little survival whistle sort of fair rods. It's one of those multi sort of things. At the top we've got a little button compass underneath the button compass we've got a punch brake with some cotton wool then inside the next section down we have a knife with some more cotton wool and then the next section down is the ferro rod 
which we can use the, the back of the blade for the scraper. Over there, we've got a little lamp, little LED light. We've got a more companion, sort of carbon steel, so we can use that with the ferro rods as well. And inside here, this is something I'm looking very, very forward to, the testing. Um, instead of those cheap little wire saws, this is a chainsaw. So like a chainsaw blade, but actually this one is going to be a lot better um, sort of on there itself, which is going to make it a lot better for cutting. So all that's inside his cutting belt. Then we've got a little bit of first aid, a glow stick, a pillow, a face mask. We need that for this day and age. With a little rain poncho, one of the ones sort of from Tesco's. But good as a backup for rain cover. If you, you, you're generally going to go out and have a coat or something with you, but it's sometimes nice to have this emergency shelter if you do need one. We've got a housewife or sewing kit, little. This is like one of those pound gland ones, which I do have a video planned to come out very shortly of multiple different uses for these kits. We've got a little kinetic torch. So, sort of a little light on there, and I can turn my light onto you. Good, because you don't need any batteries. Bad, if you make so much noise, you want to be stealthy. So, it depends how you want to use it. Over there, we've got a whole bunch of cable ties. Another one. We've got some insulation tape, so from what I said about I didn't have any um, cargo tape, we've got some insulation tape so we can still got some sort of tape. We've got a cloth bandana, oh so there we go, so now we've actually got the cloth bandana, so now we've actually hit all we need now, we've got a sewing needle, so yes, sewing needle, cloth sewing needle, so really we're now hit all 10 Z's, and we've now got the Comfort 5 as well, the the first aid and the other comfort items. We've got another nice sharpener. We've got two more survival blankets or emergency foil blankets. And then we go into the tent sort of stuff. So we have a little small carry more hammock which we can set up for sleeping. We've got some five tent pegs to help on there. We've got a pair of 911 gloves, tactical gloves, which are really good hard duty and nice to wear, not to cut your hands up and sort of round, round the base camp. We've got ample supply of cordage. There's lots and lots of cordage. We can tie off things and make our shelter. We've got one of those sort of heavy duty sort of tarps. Um, they're not fire resistant, so you've got to be careful with them. It's got four carabiners on the end we can spread up and make a tarp system, a shelter system underneath the hammock. Then we've got a nice lightweight sort of jungle sleeping bag. So brand new, he has not used it before, he's just given it to me for the first time to test it. Over there. And finally, the old and faithful trowel, which we can use for digging out fire pits, um, digging holes if you need to make any sort of stuff to hold stuff. Oh, best thing is, if you need a number two, we can dig it underneath the ground and bury our number twos. That is all of it for the contents of, of his bag of the sheltering area. So overall, Alex is quite a nice little, little kit. I would recommend a couple of extra things. Um, they need to go with this. So maybe some hand gel inside there. There's, I've seen no hand gel in the entire kit. You can get little sachets of hand gel or little pockets. They're always quite good for sanitation. Um, another thing which would probably be, which could be quite good to add to this kit would be some toilet roll or some tissue paper. Or if not, you've got to go around and find the moss. You've got the ways and means of doing it, but you haven't got the way to clean it up after yourself. So I recommend putting some of that inside it. So I'll be putting some of that inside for the when, when we go out, just so we've got the kit um, sort of on there. Um, other thing which I'd recommend is probably a little mini stuff set. We've got lots of stuff inside these little pouches where if I'm out there trying to find stuff I, I've got to lay it all over the place so I recommend probably maybe having maybe some colour coded bags so you know you've got toiletries in one bag you've got merch first aid kit inside another bag so you grab in it you just grab the bag out you've got a camp you've got a cord when I'm in the army I always had a stuff sack full of all my cords and my temp pegs and and that sort of stuff, so it's a case of I can pull that out. So when I'm doing my shelter, I pull the shelter kit out, only the shelter kit comes out, not the rest of all the other stuff and goes all over the place, especially if it's dark or windy, stuff can go flying off all over the place. So I recommend probably having some of those inside your kit as well. 
But that, enough said over that, I'm gonna get this stuff packed and then I'll give you the final thought. Impressions. I'm quite quite impressed with what you've got there. You've got all the main bases covered. You've got your survivability stuff. You've got your shelter cover. You've got your comforts covered. You've also got your long-term sort of ideas sort of covered inside there. The main thing is when you're doing these kits is if you get a bug out bag, it's having that initial supply of food, um, which is just really really good stuff you've got inside there. Because when you if you're in that situation where you've got a bug out or you've got to run away or something's happened you're not going to be in a situation where you can find food or it might be a situation where you're injured and you can't physically go and find food so having that inside there was really really good so it's just a case of though you need to make sure you fill the water bottles up and keep them regularly topped up sort of switched around maybe adding another sort of um collapsible a water bag sort of inside if it doesn't cost any much but you can pick them up from Poundland and it holds five liters um, so one of those can get put in there. So when you are at base camp, you've got yourself, if you've got a good water source, um, five liters of water, and you've got your Puri tabs, Puri tab five liters, hey presto. Um, maybe it's some sort of filtering system. You could use a cloth bandana um, to filter the water through just to purify it over there. Or if budget's, if budget, budget's allowed, maybe one of those sort of soya, soya mini filters or life straws could be an asset inside this sort of kit in this day and age. But Enough said of that, it's quite a good kit. I'm looking really, really forward to go test this out with Jacob. He's off just playing hide and seek with the other two, well, the other three kids inside the woods at the moment. Uh, we're now going to sit down here and um, get all this stuff and get back and I'll see you in my next video with the full test of this kit. Until then, just remember, it's better to be one with wilderness than to fight the struggle. Until the next video, I'll see you then. I'll be doing the changes inside this, so when you see me next use this, there'll be a few little extra changes, which you can see what's going on.